Hi everyone, it's Miss Jody from the library. Happy afternoon and happy birthday to Dr. Seuss, or better known as Dr. Seuss. Um, his real name actually is Theodore Geisel. Some people say Theodore Geisel, but this is the man behind the mission. He wrote and illustrated a lot of the Dr. Seuss books, Cat in the Hat, The Lorax, I, If I Ran a Zoo, uh, ten, a or apples, 10 Apples on Top, all those good, wonderful books. But he really wasn't a doctor. Can you believe that? He just, his dad wanted him to be a doctor. So he decided to say, hmm, I'll write these books, but I'm going to use a different name. And so he put doctor in front of his name and boom, Dr. Seuss. How crazy is that? So let's take a minute, go ahead, let's sing happy birthday to him. Ready? One, two, three. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Dr. Seuss. Happy birthday to you. And I don't know if you can see, it's kind of really tiny, but this is what he looked like. Theodore Geisel looked like. And he wrote lots and lots of different books in 30 different languages his books are in. Crazy, how awesome. One book, which I really like, is called The Foot Book. The Foot Book. Look down at your feet, lift up your right foot, and then your left foot. Right foot, left foot, right foot, right foot. Ah, oh, I gotcha. All right, let's see here. The Foot Book by Dr. Seuss. And thank you, Random House, for letting us read these today. How awesome. Left foot, left foot, right foot, right. Feet in the morning, feet at night. Left foot, left foot, left foot, right. Wet foot, dry foot, low foot, high foot. Or you can go high, low, high, low. Front feet, back feet, feet. Red feet, black feet. Whew. I'm gonna say feet, I'm gonna dream about feet tonight, guys. Left foot, right foot, feet, feet, feet. How many, many feet you meet? Ooh, count with me. How many on this page? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Slow feet, quick feet. Did I scare you, Jimmy? <laughs> Trick feet, sick feet. Look at this sick feet. Good. He's in bed. Up feet, down feet. Here comes the clown feet. Small feet, big feet. Here come pig feet. His feet, her feet, fuzzy, furry feet. Holy smokes, do you want feet this big? In the house and on the street, how many, many feet you meet? Look at, look at all the feet. Some have two, some have four, some have shoes on, some have web feet. Up in the air feet and over the chair feet. More and more feet. 24 feet. Two and a four. 24. Excuse me. Here come more and more and more feet. 
can you count them? I'm not going to count them, but I'm going to see if you guys can give you just a few more seconds. All right, I don't know how many there were. Left foot, right foot, feet, feet, feet. Oh, how many feet you meet. So look around in your house right now. How many feet are in your house? Don't forget your animals and your mom and dad, your grandma and grandpa, your aunts or uncles, anybody that's in your house right now, how many feet are in there? At my house right now, there's four feet. Just my guinea pig is at home. That's all. All right, great job. Now I want to share some more facts. Remember I told you that Dr. Seuss was not a doctor? Some other facts about him is he really wanted to be an artist, an illustrator. He loved drawing pictures and being creative, but people told him, yeah, you're stinky. You're no good, don't do it, you can't be an artist. Guess what? He wrote a lot of his books and illustrated his books. So he made the art in his books and he wrote the words. So I thought that was really cool. Um, his book, his very first book, and to think I had saw it on Mul Mulberry Street, was rejected 27 times. People said, ugh, this book is horrible. Horrible, 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 27 times. And then somebody said, hey, we like it, we like it. He wrote and illustrated 44 children's book. And one thing that I like, if I ran the zoo, was the first publication of the word nerd. N-E-R-D, the nerd was in there. Ask your mom and dad, what is a nerd? The coolest person you'll ever meet. All right, I'm gonna read one more book and it's called Read With My Eyes Shut by Dr. Seuss. Again, thank you to Penguin Random House for letting us read this today. I can read in red, I can read in blue, I can read in pickle color too. What color's pickle color? Yep, it's green. I can read in bed and in purple and in brown. I can read in a circle and upside down. Can you guys read upside down? I don't know if I can. I can read with my left eye. I can read with my right. I can read Mississippi with my eyes shut tight. M-I-S-S-I-S-S-I-P-P-I. Mississippi, Indianapolis, and hallelujah too. I can read with my eyes shut. That is very hard to do. Have you ever read with your eyes shut? Don't do it. Look at what happens. Look at. But it's bad for my hat. It makes my eyebrows get really red. So reading with my eyes shut, I don't do an awful lot. And when I keep them open, I can read with much more speed. You have to be a speedy reader because there's so much to read. I'm not a speedy reader. I'm a slow reader. You can read about trees and bees and knees and knees on trees and bees on threes. Listen to the rhyme. Dr. Seuss was a rhymer. Look at trees, bees, knees, threes. What? You can read about anchors and all about ants. You can read about ankles and crocodile pants. Do you know crocodiles wear pants? You can read about hoses and how to smell roses and what you should do about owls on your noses. Did you catch the rhymes in there? Hoses and roses and noses. Young cat, if you keep your eyes open enough, oh, the stuff you will learn, the most wonderful stuff. Ready to see what? 
What will you learn? Have you read this book? Tell me. What will you learn? You'll learn about fish bones and wish bones, and you'll hear about trombones too. You'll learn about Jake the pillow snake and all about Foo Foo the Sioux. You can learn about ice and mice and mice on ice and ice on mice. And you can learn about the price on ice. Nice ice for sale, 10 cents a pail. Listen to all those rhymes, I love it. You can read about sad and glad and mad. My kids would say, you're mad, mommy. There are so many things you can learn about, but you'll miss the best things if you keep your eyes shut. Look at him. He's keeping his eyes shut. And the cat in the hat is like, follow me, come on. Reading is the best. The more that you read, the more things you will know. The more that you learn, the more places you'll go. Reading takes you on an adventure for free. How awesome is that? I was just reading about the Titanic. Love it. You might learn a way to earn a few dollars or how to make donuts or kangaroo collars. You can learn to read music and play a hut suit if you keep your eyes open, but not with them shut. Mm -mm. If you read with your eyes shut, you're likely to find that the places where you go is far, far behind. Look at, look at all the places you can go. How awesome. So that's why I tell you guys to keep your eyes open wide. Show me your wide eyes. That's right. Keep them wide open. Well, at least one side. Can you close your right eye and only look out your left? How about your left eye and only look out your right? That's better for me. That's easier for me. Awesome. So read with my eyes shut. I can read with my eyes shut. And the foot book. Those are two books that we have here at the library. Come on in, check them out. If you don't want to come in, definitely call us and we'll put them on reserve. And we're still doing curbside. So that is excellent chance for you to still get some books and take advantage of our services here at the library. Before I go, I do have an activity that I want you guys to do at home. Dr. Seuss did some rhymes in his books and that's what he loves to do. So I am gonna show you some words and at home, see with your family if you can rhyme. If you want to, you can rewind this and go back and answer it. You can type in the comments some worms, words, worms, ah, some words that rhyme with these. But I'm just going to show you a couple and see. Hat. What can you rhyme with hat? Think of a couple, maybe three or four. I can think of that and bat. What else can you think of? Ooh, how about cake? I can think of snake and take. What else can you think of? How about small? I can think of hall. What else can you think of? Remember, talk about it with your family, or you can put them in comments, or if you see me in the library, we can go over these too. Just two more I'm gonna do. Ooh, this one might be hard. Year. Cheer. Fear. Lemon. No, lemon doesn't rhyme with year, does it? What did you guys come up with? And the last one I'm going to do is round. What rhymes with round? Found. Hound, which is a dog. So talk to your mom and dad and brothers and sisters and grandma and grandpa. See what rhymes 
rhyming words, you can come up with ours that we just did. And you can make some of your own. Put them in comments and we'll definitely read them. But happy birthday to Dr. Seuss. Thank you for joining us today and we'll see you soon, La Vista. Bye.